Okay. okay. This book is Abigail and the Balance Beam. It's written by Lisa Riggin. Here we go. If ever there was a little girl who couldn't wait to grow up, it was Abigail. Every night before she went to sleep, she'd mark another day off the calendar. Every morning, she checked to see if she'd grown taller. Okay. <clears throat> I just know it will happen soon, said Abigail. <clears throat> but even if it, she wasn't there yet, Abigail loved doing grown-up things. One of Abigail's favorite things was gymnastics. She loved costumes and the competition. Abigail would practice over and over to get every step perfect. Today was the last practice before the final meet of the season, and Abigail worked as hard as she could. As she practiced, Abigail could hear her mom calling from the stands, Abigail, you're doing a good job. There's the story. Some days, though, Things didn't go quite the way she wanted them to. Abigail whisked through all of her routines, but when she forgot, but when she got to the balance beam, she fell off every time. First she weaved, then she wobbled. Try as she might, she couldn't make it to the other end. Abigail wondered if she could ever do it. See her wiggling and wobbling? Abigail was very quiet leaving the arena. She was thinking hard about her balance beam routine. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, her mom said. You're going to have so much fun on Saturday. <coughs> thinking about fun made Abigail smile. Abigail always felt better after talking with her mom. Talking together. Finally, the big day arrived. Abigail put on the pink leotard her mom had made for just for this day. Looking in the mirror, Abigail thought she looked like the gymnast on TV. She practiced putting one foot in front of the other like she needed to do on her balance beam. I can do this, she thought. Abigail was very, very excited. At the arena, the whole place buzzed with anticipation. The people in the stands waved and clapped as the gymnasts warmed up before the meet. Abigail could barely contain her excitement as she stretched. This is so grown up, Abigail thought and smiled. Abigail loved doing grown up things. As Abigail hopped onto the trampoline for her first event, she couldn't help worrying about her balance beam routine. She was thinking about it as she bounced and twirled and dared to do the Hungarian belly flop twice. An unusual move, said the judges, and we like it. Abigail couldn't help but smile. There she is. When it was time for the floor routine, Abigail really put on a show. No one else had thought to use hip-hop as a dance choice, as a music choice. Abigail almost forgot about the balance beam when her slip and slide and popping and locking brought the crowd to its feet. You could hear people yelling, Abigail, you're doing a great job. Yay. Good job, Abigail. Next, Abigail twirled on the uneven bars. She flew through her routine. It was amazing to see Abigail 
hook her feet around the bar and spin one more time before the perfect dismount. The feet, the crowd went wild, but Abigail was thinking so hard about the balance beam, she barely noticed. She couldn't stop thinking about falling off. Abigail wondered if she could ever do it. There she is, doing a great job on the uneven bars. She jumped onto the narrow beam and balanced. <clears throat> One step. One jump, one handstand, then it happened. She wobbled. But this time she didn't fall. She made it all the way to the end and stuck her landing. What a good job, Abigail. Abigail's teammates gave her a high five. Coach <laughs> patted her on the back and said, Abigail, you're doing a great job. Abigail sat with her mom and waited for the awards ceremony. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, said her mom. But I wobbled, worried Abigail. I bet if I were older, I w it would have been perfect. Being grown up isn't about doing things perfectly, said Abigail's mom. It's about doing the best you can. <clears throat> and that's exactly what you did. Abigail smiled. Abigail always felt better after talking with her mom. May I have your attention, please, blared the announcer over the loudspeaker. The award for the most points earned across all events goes to Abigail. Abigail, please come forward now to accept your prize. Abigail won the biggest prize of all. Abigail hugged her mom, then ran to the podium. It was the most exciting day of her life. And she wasn't even grown up yet. As the judge placed the medal around her neck, Abigail beamed with delight. That's the end. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.